Do you enjoy people watching? Being in a public space, watching the world go by? I'm sure we all do it. But what happens when you accidentally eavesdrop a conversation or watch a certain someone for longer than a few seconds? You get a small insight into a stranger's life, a person you won't hear or see ever again. Do you ever then get this kind of existential feeling? This is something that I wouldn't have been able to really describe before until I recently came across the term sonder. The realization that each random passerby is living a life as vivid and as complex as your own, in which you might only appear once as an extra sipping coffee in the background. Now, if I connect this feeling of sonder to my approach with street photography, my intentions become a lot different. I'm no longer taking photos because someone's outfit looks good or the way the light hits a building looks nice. I'm now taking photos out of an appreciation for the little moments that won't ever be seen again. Every passing detail or small coincidence becomes an opportunity. And this is the fun in street photography. What can we create out of those unexpected events within the public space? So I might have just said a lot of jargon or nonsense, but I'm trying to explain how my perspective has completely shifted from someone who would maybe never notice the smaller details to someone now who's pretty much obsessed with finding potential images, even when my camera's not on me. It's like I can't turn my eye off from noticing the inherent randomness of public behavior in the streets. Let's be real for a second, I'm not constantly walking around in awe of the beautiful streets. Not at all. People are annoying, maybe they smell, maybe the streets smell, city life is loud. It's not necessarily a great place to be all the time. However, when I do walk around, I seem to notice and even appreciate the little moments that my family and friends aren't even aware of. And that's because of street photography. I want to take a moment to thank Koji, the sponsors of this video. Koji is one of the most impressive link in bio services I've ever seen. If you're a creative person with lots of things to share in your bio, it makes sense to have it efficiently set up with Koji. I've currently got my profile set up to share the most obvious things like my latest YouTube video and my website, but it was also a breeze to set up a shop right inside my bio and sell my Lightroom presets. Koji have hundreds of different apps you can customize and create to make your link in bio an essential place to share and even monetize your profile. Based on all of these free and powerful features, I think Koji is the best link in bio service for filmmakers and photographers, and definitely the best link tree alternative for filmmakers and photographers. Check out the link in my bio to get your free Koji account. And once you've got your profile set up, pop it in the comments below so we can all see your work, your presets, your editing services, whatever it might be that you have on offer. Thanks again to Koji for sponsoring this video. I like to understand street photography in a way how people treat people watching. But instead of those moments of sonder disappearing forever, we get to capture that in a hundredth of a second and we've literally stopped time in one frame. And that seems pretty special to me. With this new perspective on street photography, we can choose what we do with it. And perhaps in a much less philosophical manner than my previous points, I think it's a good idea to have fun with it and try and gamify the process. For example, if I see someone walk past with a red hat on, then what are the chances of two people walking past with a red hat? And then maybe two people walking past with a red hat, 
someone walks past carrying a red balloon and then maybe all of that happens in front of the red billboard. You've got all of these things happening in one frame and this is where it becomes exciting. The opportunities and potential images are absolutely infinite. Now I don't always overwhelm myself with those make-believe situations, sometimes street photography can be very simple and very straightforward. But I know that those situations are happening all the time, all over the world, and no one's there to notice it or take photos of it, except potential street photographers. The everyday person walking around on the street will never notice those details, and that's why perspective is important. Street photographers and documentary photographers might just be the only people that would notice it and therefore bring those scenes to life. As motivation for noticing special moments or even trying to capture things that you didn't think were possible, remember Murphy's Law. Whatever can happen, will happen. The only variable being is if you're out on the street to see it or not. I don't like the control. I want as much to happen, as many as many gifts to be given to me as the street provides. If you don't have that attitude, you can't you can't work on a street like this because it takes a kind of endurance. You got to stand here day after day and be willing to believe something's going to come your way. You know, the pot of gold right here on the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't think about, if you don't think like that, you wind up getting frustrated. The street doesn't seem to provide. You know, you don't trust life. You gotta love it, trust it, to be able to work in it. Yeah. That clip of John Merritt sums up nicely what I want you to get from this video. Street photography isn't supposed to be easy, it takes a lot of effort. The effort of showing up as much as you possibly can. But it's about that perspective shift, and for me personally, it's been a super positive one. There's a chance that I could despise these public places. They're busy, sometimes they smell, sometimes people are annoying. It's certainly not necessarily an inviting place for anyone. But with the attitude of wanting to capture those unique once in a lifetime moments, I'm excited to be out on the streets. And to me, that feels a lot better than sitting at home and missing out on what could be.